Today, I'm going to show you a book that I got at bookcloseouts.com, which they have absolutely fabulous prices on some of the most unique books you're going to find. I find some incredible deals there, and usually once a year, I'll purchase a large purchase of books when they have a book deal. Sometimes they even offer free shipping, and they do have deals all year long, and even um, some slightly damaged books I've ordered, and honestly, I don't see any damage on them. So anyway, I find it's the best place to buy uh, unique books. And today I'm going to show you this is sort of like book magazine and I think I got this for probably less than a dollar and it's The Craft of Natural Dying by Jenny Dean and here's inside the cover of the book and I'm just going to show you some pages here now. It's a search press book and there's a table of contents. The ISBN number is 0855327448 if you're looking for it. And there's an introduction and it's showing um, all these naturally dyed yarns which anybody who's into knitting or crocheting may want to do that and it talks about different fibers, animal fibers and vegetable fibers so it mainly speaks about natural fibers and then it talks about the different dye stuffs you can use and the like bonding agents uh, your, whether your water is acid or alkaline and how that will affect it and the equipment you will need for um, doing your own dyeing at home. And here we have uh, measurements and different types of safety notes. And here they're showing how to dye uh, yarn with onion skins. And you wouldn't believe uh, what a beautiful color that will give you. Here's a finished um, wool that's been dyed with onion skins. It almost has this bright uh, turmeric color, which actually you can dye with that as well, turmeric. So here's the different grades depending on how long you leave it into the dye bath. And it shows here like if you left it in a short period of time versus a longer period of time. And this is done with onion skins, this one. And here's a chart showing different types of natural dyes and how they um, show up on different fibers like wool, mohair, um, silk, cotton. So it gives you a nice chart in there. And here we have more um, different colors. They got matter on wool with iron or with copper. Um, goes on down through different types of um, colors you can yield. And this is on different fabrics versus the yarns. Just more uh, information like on tannins. Um, with tannins is what they used years ago to prepare leather uh, before they started using um, chemical preparations. Different flower heads you can use for dyeing. Different leaves and stems of plants also produce uh, dye stuffs as well. And here are barks, different types of bark and roots. You know, matter root and turmeric as I mentioned. Uh, we have different things here, onion skins and berries. Then I get into the insect dyes, which is not something I'd want to do. I have dyed before using the turmeric as well as using um, beet root powder which I got from Mountain Rose Herbs. Both of those make beautiful dyes and actually great uh, paint tints as well. 
So here it talks about the different colors and how you can get the different colors. These are yellows and golds. Then we're getting into greens and different blues. Indigo is the most common for doing blue. And then lavenders, grays, and purples. Then we have pinks and reds as well. And copper type colors. Oranges, rusts, and browns. And we use here is a netto, uh, henna, lichen, onion skins. It tells you the different uh, colors they will yield. And the one great thing about using natural dyes at home, aside from the fact that you're um, not exposed to so many toxins, is that every time it's a piece of art, it'll come out a little different. And then we have your browns and blacks. Now another thing that I use for dyeing as well, um, which will dye a grayishy tone, it won't be a true black, is uh, activated charcoal. And then if you want to grow the plants yourself in your garden, uh, it even gives you a list of plants that you can grow uh, to produce your own dyes. And a lot of these plants are very hardy and practically weeds and you can uh, you could probably wildcraft them in an area uh, nearby. So that's it. It's the Craft of Natural Dyeing by Jenny Dean. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you like this review and thanks for watching.